we're trying to exterminate people in this country. That's what we're trying to do. Yeah. That's what the United States is all about. Oh, oh, oh. All right. Here we go. We got a shit post. This is from Denari Grace on the Twitter. Got a lot of hearts there. A lot of hearts. Got a wheelchair emoji. Got all of it. Got the infinity stones. This is a reminder that number one, BMI is junk science. <laughs> okay. Uh, two, science and medicine are neither neutral, objective, nor harmless. They have a long history and present, not just the past, of perpetuating harm and violence against marginalized, oppressed groups. You went full retard, man. And three, yes, that includes fat people. Of course, of course, of course. If you're marginalized and oppressed, of course, the world is, by default, the world is against you. If you're marginalized and oppressed, of course, everything's against you. Just add it to the list. Everything's against, everything and everyone, everything and everyone hates you, right? You're the, the, everyone's trying to eradicate you. Everyone's just trying to just, destroy we're, we're trying to eliminate from the face of the earth anyone who's marginalized and oppressed everyone we're trying to exterminate people in this country that's what we're trying to do yeah that's what the united states is all about that's what we're all about that's what we're fucking all about you in full retard man you get a double you get a double tard if you can't be at least mildly interesting then shut the hell up all right, BMI is junk quote science. BMI is your height divided, was it your weight in kilograms divided by your height in meters squared? It's very simple math. I believe that's what it is. Um, it's very descriptive, especially if you're not exercising regularly. It's actually quite accurate. If you have a high BMI, you're not fucking healthy unless you're just fucking dense muscle and you're shredded. So number two, you can just ignore the BMI. We've talked about that ad nauseum. Number two, science and medicine are neither neutral, objective, nor harmless. Uh, actually, yes, science is absolutely objective. If you interpret a study poorly, that's not objective, but that's poor interpretation. Science is objective. Science is facts. Science are studies that give you data. That's it. That's it. It is objective. They have a long history and present of perpetuating harm and violence. How is science perpetuating harm and violence? Can you tell me? Can you tell me, Denari, you fucking, fucking tard? How is science perpetuating harm and violence? How is science perpetuating harm and violence against marginalized and oppressed groups? <laughs> stupid. This <laughs> is fucking stupid. Where's my, uh, there you go. What the hell kind of country is this where I can only hate a man if he's white? Give me a fucking break. Uh, give me a break. Give me a break. Is that right? Bella Wolf, actually BMI undercounts overweight and obesity. I think 80% of people who have a normal BMI are obese by some other measure. Well, look, it's a tool. It's a tool. It's one method. And literally BMI, BMI is just going off your height and your weight. That's it. It doesn't tell, it doesn't, it, it doesn't reflect. It doesn't reflect your body fat percentage. Okay. I'm overweight and obese according to BMI, but I'm not according to common sense and other metrics. It's not like you take your BMI. Oh my God, you're a terrible person. You're a good person. This is how these marginalized and oppressed people are complaining. They're taking this as a judgment against their character or their worth as a human, which is stupid. That's not what BMI BMI is not a feelings chart. Okay. It's not a fucking feelings measurement. It's not off the fucking charts, off the fucking charts. Woke as fuck. All right. BMI does not tell you your worth as a person. It's not like, oh, you're a high BMI. You're a terrible person. <laughs> it's not the fucking case. It's not the fucking case. Today.